Hello everyone. I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, I'm Jubilee Aniskit. I am the host of Aniskit's Be Cooking. Um, I just wanted to come on before we start this video and just kind of introduce what Aniskit's Be Cooking is and how it became a YouTube channel. Um, so I am not a cook. <laughs> I am uh, not someone who enjoys cooking all that much, but I've grown to love it. I have um, developed a passion for cooking. I love learning. I love learning new things. I love challenging myself um, to try different things. And um, this is more of a recent thing. As I've been getting older, I've been learning that there are things that I need to do um, as a mom, as a wife. You know, for years, my husband did a lot of the work at our house. Um, I just went to work. <laughs> um, he took care of our son. He took him to and from school. He made sure dinner was ready. He packed his lunches, all of those things. I enjoyed the parts where I meal planned or I would go to Costco and get all the things and, um, you know, chop up all the uh, fruits and things for his lunch boxes and get them all ready. But ultimately, my husband did all the rest of the work. Um, including dinners. And when we were um, young parents, my son was still in elementary school, my husband had the idea of getting uh, cookbooks that we could look through and once a week try different recipes as a family. Um, and that kind of started it. But then I started getting into um, watching YouTube videos and I started following a um, a channel called the wads and she really just kind of inspired me to give it a go again and just not be afraid of how things are going to turn out um growing up with a mom who didn't cook um, she had her recipes she had some things that were very very basic very very simple that we all still create today now that she's gone um, and we all enjoy it because it brings back those memories in, um, in the case of us and me learning, it was more that I enjoyed baking, but I didn't really know how to um, create those combinations with flavors, with things that I already had at home, um, and how to know what to season something with and how that would go along with pairing with another dish and that kind of thing. Um, my mom was not a, a cook. Um, in fact, where I grew up, mostly the men cooked. So my dad was very good at cooking. Um, my brothers were all very good. I remember uh, one of my brothers used to be a, a chef at a restaurant, and he told me, you know, it's easy. You just grab all these ingredients and you throw it all together and it's fine. And that just intimidated me, not knowing certain things. But recipes also intimidated me. If you look at every single ingredient and how much you need to put in and all of that, it gets overwhelming to the point where I didn't want to do any of it. Um, and really, like I said, watching the wads, um, it just inspired me to know that I can take a recipe and find something that I really want or that I really want to try and um, know that I can tweak it and make it my own and it'll turn out just fine. Uh, so it kind of stemmed from that, you know, me wanting to learn, but it was also that um, we enjoyed hosting people. So when you host people, you have to have snacks, you have to have food. Um, and growing up in Hawaii, food is our love language. We, this is how we enjoy family time is with meals or around meals or plan things, you know, going out to a restaurant to eat and that kind of thing. Um, so this is what I ended up doing and wanting to do. And it's something that, um, you know, is very new for me. I'm not somebody who loves to be on camera. Um, but this is a challenge that I'm putting out to myself to be able to, um, do lots of new things. Um, and there will be some other things on this channel too. So you won't just have recipes. I do plan on getting back into the Gilmore Girls cookbook series um, and starting to do more of that. But I also want to do like simple, easy meals that people can do. People like myself who don't know how to cook. 
um, or who don't really enjoy the cooking process, things that can be done in a very short period of time. Um, and this is a recipe that I knew I had stuff in my freezer that I needed to get um, out of there so that I could make room for some other stuff, but I also didn't want to waste any food. So I just kind of looked around, saw what I had, looked in my pantry, saw what I had, pulled all those things together, looked in my recipe binder, found um, something that, yes, I've got all these ingredients, I can make it work. And it literally took me less than 30 minutes. So um, let's watch the video. So tonight we're gonna make something quick and easy, instant pot beef broccoli. Um, I took out some of the stuff. I'm just going to use up what I had in the freezer and then I took out some sausage for um, breakfast tomorrow. The best part about this dinner is that I had all the ingredients already at home. I did not have to go to the grocery store. Ingredients included liquid aminos, brown sugar, flour, and garlic. You can see me struggling here trying to get my pressure cooker out of the pantry. Um, it was really hard trying to grab it with one hand while I was filming with the other hand. Alright, finally got it freed with one hand, able to get it on the countertop, got it all unpacked, <laughs> untwisted, and ready to go. Thankfully, I have a big countertop island where I have outlets pretty much everywhere. Okay, now that the pressure cooker is on the countertop, it's time to get the rice started so that can cook while the pressure cooker is making the actual meal. So um, here I ended up making five cups of rice. I was told that's too much for us, but I knew that I had the plan for the next morning. I took sausage out of the freezer as well that I was going to make breakfast the next morning as well. So I ended up making more rice for dinner that I could then use to make fried rice in the morning. Okay, so I had to put the phone down in order to wash the rice and got that taken care of, got that started, and then it was time to um, start preparing the actual meal with the pressure cooker. So I got that opened up and it's time to start throwing together all the ingredients. So as you can see from the video, I had some leftover pre-made fajita steaks um, and they were just like those the previously frozen ones I had some of that because we made fajitas at one point and I just bagged up the rest of them so I took that out of the freezer to thaw out and then I had some um, sliced up steak and then a couple of thin steaks as well so like I said I was trying to use up what I had in the freezer I knew those three things were things that could all be mixed together and be fine and then I had frozen broccoli that I was able to use as well. So here I am just adding some olive oil to the pressure cooker. I got it on a sear setting. I threw in the already cooked fajita steaks and then also opened the package of the other steaks to throw in there as well. Um, and then I also sliced up the steaks, the additional steaks that I had. So overall, I probably had about, I'd say maybe th two to three pounds of steak to make this actual meal. The broccoli part was easy. I already had frozen broccoli florets. So each of those bags, I ended up using two bags. Each bag was microwaved for um, five minutes each and so I didn't add that in until the very end all right and the last of the steaks is going in so I'm taking these steaks that I had they're just thin cut and I'm slicing them up to be able to add them to the pressure cooker as well overall I probably had about two pounds of meat um, between the fajita strips that were already pre-made, the steak chunks that I had, and these sliced up steaks that I added. After that I cleaned up a little bit and it was already starting to smell very good just with the steak in there by itself. But of course we have to add garlic to it. So I added about three tablespoons of garlic just to give it a lot of flavor. I really like garlic so um, I probably used a lot more than I needed to. I think the recipe only said like one tablespoon of garlic. 
what can I say? I'm an overachiever. As I mentioned earlier in the preface to this video, I always felt like I was going to mess something up. Adding three tablespoons of garlic versus one tablespoon of garlic didn't change at all that much. I just enjoy the flavor of garlic, so I wanted more flavor to that. So you saw that I did add some flour to it. It wasn't a lot of flour. I just basically coated the meat with it and mixed it all in along with the garlic so that everything could kind of, all the flavors could kind of meld together. And I'm moving the camera so that you can see what the combination of all of those things look like. So it does create like a paste almost over the meat. And this is something that I learned years ago when cooking uh, beef stew you can um, coat the meat with flour so that it actually helps tenderize the meat but it also serves as a thickening agent when it's being cooked so the sauce is getting ready very easy i had liquid aminos instead of soy sauce so it only was half a cup of that and then i added to that a half a cup of beef broth as well so the base is only one cup of liquid and then I used about a handful and a half or so of brown sugar. I didn't want it to be overly sweet, but I also wanted it to have a little bit of a sweet flavor. Um, so that's really everything that was required for the, the sauce. So I've got the meats almost already all the way cooked, but the pressure cooker is going to cook it as well. So I'm not going to completely cook all of the meat until it's completely brown. Um, I am okay with it being half cooked here. And then um, I just had to mix in the brown sugar really well with the um, beef broth and the soy sauce. And then I just dumped all of that into the pressure cooker before setting the pressure cooker for about 10 minutes. The pressure cooker is set to 10 minutes. The second bag of broccoli is going to go in the microwave for five minutes. Once those are done, they get added to the mixture. And there you go. Easy peasy. Rice, beef, broccoli. That was the leftovers. Boom. Less than 30 minutes.